what's going on guys and welcome back to another uh, draft champions episode and in this video you guessed it we're gonna be doing draft champions it's been a good week a uh, week or two since we've done draft champions but we're back on the grind we're gonna select Sean Payton as our head coach and we're gonna get on into this draft it's Tuesday night drafts are nice oh and we're gonna get Mar we're gonna go ahead and pick up Marcus Mariota right here <clears throat> moves us up to an 88 uh, 80 overall oh and then we get our running back in the next round in Adrian Peterson definitely a workhorse uh, moving on through the draft we get a good offensive lineman here uh, gonna go ahead and take him while they're while they present themselves um, we get a Luke Keekley now <clears throat> the speed is a little bit questionable and I feel like we'll get like a Ray Nitschke or something like that so um, as much as it stings to pass on Luke Keekley, we're going to pick up Antonio Cromartie and build our corner depth. I feel like that's the best move. Uh, okay, there's a combine center. I'm going to go ahead and pick him up. <clears throat> Let's see, we get a we get a crappy round right here. Uh, we get a will tie. Uh, I feel like we'll get a better tight end. We're going to pick up this left guard right here. Uh, round seven, we get a Don Terry Poe. We're going to go ahead and build up the defensive line. <clears throat> round eight, we get right outside linebacker. Um, might need to go ahead and pick him up to start our linebacker core depth. Uh, let's see. We don't have any receivers or a tight end either. So we're going to take Golden Tate. Move us up to 85 overall. We get a, we get a, who that's a good user card, but you know what, we're going to go to Landon Collins, don't have strong safety, that was probably the right move, round 11, um, we already have a left tackle, we don't have a right end, um, let's see, he only has 86 block shit though, hmm, we're going to pick up the middle linebacker right here, um, if we don't get another one, you know, we'll have one. Oh, we get Marshawn Lynch, man. Mmm. Wow. Well, we already have a running back, so we might as well go receiver. Uh, let's see. Mm, mm, mm. Which one's taller? You know what? Hmm. This is a tough choice because Antonio Freeman has higher spec catch, and he's taller. But Sterling Sharp has, let's see, he has better jumping and he has better catching in general. So, hmm, he's only 5'11". I like the big receivers. We're going to go with um, Antonio Freeman. Uh, tight end, we need, to, we need to pick up a tight end. Uh, let's see. So, offense is looking pretty lit so far. We only got two rounds left. Um, let's see, do we have a right guard? No, we don't. Be better pick up that right guard. We're at 88 overall. Last and final round, we get Odell Beckham Jr. Mm. That's perfect, guys. Right, we're going to have a pretty lit receiving core. We're going to go ahead and pick up OBJ. All right, so as you can see, guys, our receiving core, our quarterback, and our running back are pretty stacked. We got, we got a pretty good O-line, too. We got a decent tight end, and on the defensive side of things, we got a decent user. Um, we got we got one good corner. I'm glad we drafted that corner because we wouldn't have had a good corner if we would have taken Luke Keekley. But um, anyways, guys, this is the team, and let's hop into a game. We're starting the game off on defense. Um, he's in that jumbo look. I've been facing that a lot lately. Oh, he's hitting the drag. Stiff Harmon. We're going to use her KJ Wright right here. Um, let's see if he'll run out of the middle or if he'll do his drags. He's doing a play action. He's dumping it off. And he's breaking all these tackles. But I've been facing a lot of people in jumbo lately. And it's, it's not fun to go against on defense, man. It's, it's really not. Uh, let's see what he's going to do. Second and 11. We're going to get a pick. Oh, we got a pick. I called it, bro. I got a, I called it. 
this is a really good play if you haven't ran it. Like if you, the Saints playbook is probably the best passing offense, and he's, oh my God. Go, get up. So he got some crazy pressure on that play, and he wasn't even blitzing anybody. So we got to adjust our protection, dump that off. Stiff arm. Ah. All right, going to motion him over here. Um, make, it, make the catch, Odell. There you go, first down. And make sure we give Adrian Peterson a few carries too because he's our workhorse back. He's our workhorse back. He's running up the middle. He's making defenders miss. Moving along down the field. Um, we, de we have Odell who is, a, who is a monster weapon. He's open and he's getting us out of bounds inside the 10. Um, we're going to shift our blocking in the direction of the run. We're going to hand it to Adrian Peterson. And Adrian Peterson is making a miss. Oh, and he gets laid out too. Have, we only need four yards. Can we get can we get these four yards? Can we get these four yards? No. It definitely sucks coming out here and not getting any points. But uh, we're gonna have to take our three right here. I would go for it, but you know he's in a normal defense. I was gonna fake it. Come back out here on defense. He's got Steve McNair at quarterback, and I don't know who he has at running back. But he looks like he has a pretty good draft. He's gonna. I, I thought. I thought he was gonna test my user right there for a second. Sit on our Tampa too because he's most likely gonna be doing this just to pick up the first down. Oh, he's going deep. He's going deep, and we and it's incomplete. Thank you for it. He ain't. He ain't. You know. He ain't. You know. Average Joe. You know what I mean? So we're gonna fake our blitz and then we're gonna go cover a route. And let's see. Ah, he's wide open. That's that's why I never play man, bro. That's why I never play man cover. We're gonna do those drags again, so we gotta watch out for that. Um, let's see. He got. I got him, bro. I got him. I read that the whole way. Sitting in a cover two the whole time. So we're gonna try to take a deep shot to Odell and see if he can be great for us. You know, he makes some pretty crazy catches. Odell burned him. Odell burned him. Let's go to run mesh so we can run mesh too why not all right he's gonna go he's gonna leave that drag route wide open stiff arm ah oh he's staying up he's staying up go and goal uh backs against the wall uh let's see if we could get in the end zone here there you go golden tate get in there boy all right we're about to throw it up to odell i don't even care Odell's gonna beat it. Oh no, God! Come on. We recover the fumble. Thank goodness. In 16, definitely not where we want to be. Gonna look for Odell right here or Vernon Davis. Um, be great, Odell. Ah. So we had to give my man the ball back because we couldn't score. Um, he's running the drags. Ah. Get him. Gotta get a stop right here. Um, he's doing a wide receiver screen. Get out there. KJ Wright right here. Um, he's probably looking to pick up the first since it's a short yardage situation. Uh, we're going to see what we can do to stop him. Uh, get him. There we go. Fourth down field goal. Let's see if we can block this kick. Nope. We got to start running the ball and chewing some clock uh, so we can keep the. So we can. Oh! Adrian Peterson, he can take off. We go with another screen pass to Adrian Peterson. Let's see if he can. Oh, we got blockers. We got blockers for days. Tried to run the ball, but every time we get Adrian Peterson and draft champions, we can't run the ball. I don't know why, but we just can't. Possession catch that, my best receiver. I mean, if we can't run the ball, I guess we need to keep passing the ball, right? I mean, that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, let's see. There you go. Go on the run. Get the first. I'm gonna go with a wide receiver screen here to Antonio Freeman. It's a play. Uh oh, action. retard alert! Oh my God! Retard alert, class. Okay, so he just happened to be running cover two man on that play. He just happened to be running it. Like he was, he didn't really see it coming or anything. But yeah, but when he does the screen, he gets all these yards. You know, I, that just doesn't make sense. Third and ten here. Let's see what he's gonna do. We don't have the best user in the world, but we're making it work. Oh, what a swat, man. What a swat. 
going for it right here. This could be the game. So we got we definitely have to keep our guard up and we can't let our guard down. He's throwing right at me. Oh my god, bro. My user's not fast enough. I know exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna do the cheesy QB sneak. So yeah, that's what I thought. And now we have ourselves a little bit of a situation. You know, we got now we gotta have a game now we have to go on a game winning drive. So oh he's got the QB. Oh no, come on. Pick it up. Go with the good old reliable screen pass again. Let's hope he's not in man coverage. Alright, he's not. Ah, damn. And we do not want to allow a field goal. He's going deep. He's going deep. Swat it. He caught that. This man caught the ball. And he's going to win the game because of it. Oh my gosh. Shout out to this guy, man. He got the biggest veil out in Madden 17 history. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the Draft Champions video, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you uh, with the Ultimate Team gameplay tomorrow. And hope we don't continue this losing streak of spring break that we're on. But anyways, guys, peace out.